Now you can see this bubble coral here, this Flirigera. It's, it's normal polyps look like bubbles, but then it also sends out what's called sweeper tentacles. And you can see here, you've got a beautiful big Ancora coral, anchor coral, and on this side the coral's beautifully open and healthy. And on this side you can see the coral's well and truly retracted and starting to stress because you can see the Flerigera is attacking it. It is sending out sweeper tentacles which are full of what's called Encoti cells which are poisonous singing cells to ensure that this coral gets a competitive advantage as far as the light and space is concerned. So you can see those sweeper tentacles that are, that are really contacting the hammer and if this persists, if we do not move these corals, then eventually this hammer will die away from that area, allowing the Flerigera more room for it to actually grow and flourish. So this normally happens at night time, so it is very important to be aware of your corals, and if you do notice they're closing in one section, it is important to move them apart so they don't sting and kill each other. And when they do sting each other in situations such as this, I would definitely get the other coral out, dip it in Revive to help stop it from getting a bacterial infection so that it doesn't sweep through and you lose the whole coral head.